Hey guys, it's always Hope here. Welcome back to the channel. And it's almost like clockwork. Apple today released yet another beta. Another week, another beta, iOS 17. Developer Beta 7 has just been released by Apple. Now, for those of you in the public beta testing program, of course, the next beta will most likely be available to you within the next 24 hours or so. Apple continues to release new betas every single week for developers and public beta testers. Now, this beta came in at approximately 700 megabytes. I've seen anywhere from 400 to 800 megabytes of a download and of course in this video i wanted to share with you guys what's new with the latest ios 17 developer beta 7 release today so let's go ahead and dive right into this video now aside from ios 17 developer beta 7 apple has also released ipad os 17 developer beta 7 for the ipad and now for mac os mac os 14 beta 6 was released today so mac os is one beta behind now, typically mac os will launch later so if ios releases in September. Mac OS could be releasing maybe in October. We'll have to wait and see, but yeah, it is one beta behind, as you can see right there. Now, Watch OS 10 Beta 7 is available for the Apple Watch, and of course, TV OS 17 Beta 7 is available for the Apple TV. Now, if you have a HomePod here running a beta, Beta 6 is available for HomePod OS as well, which is one beta behind as well. Now, let's talk about some of the latest new features and changes within iOS 17 Developer Beta 7. And the first thing I want to talk about is the end call button when you hide the keypad on the end call screen, it is now recentered back to the center of the screen, as you can see right here. Now, in previous betas, this was set over to the side, and Apple continues to change this button around, but this time, when you hide the keypad, it is now recentered on the screen, which is a welcome change, in my opinion, for this beta. Now, if you have the Shazam application installed on your iPhone, Apple today also updated that as well. So, a new update to this Shazam application brings two new widgets for Shazam music detection on the lock screen. Now, of course, if you have the app, all you have to do is go into edit mode, customize, go into customizing widgets here, and you'll see the extension now provides you with two music detection widgets right there, as you can see right there. One is just the icon, and one gives you a quick description of what you're listening to. So a nice welcome change right there for the Shazam application on the iPhone. Of course, Apple owns this application. It's integrated within iOS. You can also find it, of course, within Control Center. Right there it is. So yeah, new animations in Shazam as well. So for those of you that didn't catch that on my previous coverage, there's new animations for that as well. Now, before we continue, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, K School and the K School Magic Stand Case. I'm sure you guys have seen me use these cases over the past couple of months. The Magic Stand on the K School Magic Stand Case, of course, the highlighted feature. It allows you to prop your iPhone up to watch videos, FaceTime calls. You can continue using your MagSafe accessories without having to remove your case. It, of course, protects your camera. It protects your screen. It is available in various colors. Of course, if you want to find out more about K School, school's magic stand case all the links with any special deals will be available for you guys in the description down below thank you to k school for sponsoring this video now when it comes to performance ios 17 developer beta 7 actually scored a little lower than beta 6 from last week so this is beta 6 a screenshot of the benchmark and this is beta 7 today so let's take a look here we have single core score of 2646 and then compared to today's 2614 so a slight drop in performance on the single core score department now the multi-core score department also saw a drop for about 300 points so 6901 versus 6598 so you can see right there there is a drop in performance with today's veda slightly but you know your results may vary i also wanted to point out that in the battery section here if we go into battery we go into battery health on our iphone once again my battery health has dropped from 95 to 94 once again the iphone is dropping battery health very very quickly this is my iphone 14 pro max and as you can see there the battery health has also taken sort of an impact here with the latest beta now i want to talk about the build number and the expected release date for future betas and the official final release for ios 17 as today's beta for ios 17 developer beta 7 if we take a look at the build number here if we go into the about section here we see that the latest build number is 21a5 
5319A. Now the letter A usually signifies that the RC or the release candidate could be right around the corner. Now we have to wait and see. Apple may most likely release another beta, but this could actually be the last beta before the RC, which is the release candidate. Who knows, right? So right now it looks like this could be the last beta before the RC. If Apple does release another beta, the build number will most likely end on the letter A once again. If we do get beta 8, that will most likely be available on August the 29th as Apple continues on a weekly release schedule. Now, if Apple does not release another beta next week, it means we get the RC the first week of September, which is the release candidate, and then the official release of iOS 17 on the 11th. However, if we do get a beta 8 next week, Apple will most likely take a break the first week of September, and then the RC on the week of the 11th, and final release on the week of the 18th. So yeah, it all depends on when Apple decides to do next week. If we get another beta, then the official release moves down one week to the week of the 18th. If we don't get a beta next week, it means RC is coming on the first week of September once again, and then the official release on the second week of the 11th of September will most likely see the final release for iOS 17. Yes, we're getting really, really close. Of course, this is a quick first look at some of the initial new features and changes. Make sure you stay tuned for my follow-up video where I'll talk about the battery, bugs, performance, and everything else in between. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Thank you for watching this quick one, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.